frequently around the world. Forest fires in Canada, heat waves and floods in many parts of China, and floods and mudslides in Malawi, among other African states, have caused serious loss of life and property as well as ecological crisis. Climate change is a global challenge that can be can only be effectively addressed through solidarity and cooperation. The UNFCCC and its Paris Agreement are hard-won gains, which reflect the greatest global consensus. We should always adhere to the principles of common but differentiated responsibilities, equity and respective capabilities, so as to build a solid political foundation for global climate cooperation. Africa is one of the regions in the world most vulnerable to climate change. Which also plays an important role in the climate governance and actions. Faced with the multiple challenges of development, poverty reduction, and climate change, African countries have taken vigorous actions in adaptation and mitigation and have made great efforts to realize the goals of the Paris Agreement. China, as the largest developing countries, country with over 1.4 billion population, can totally relate to what Africa is experiencing in face of all the challenges. President Xi Jinping has pointed out that addressing climate change is not something that others want us to do, but something we must do. China has set the goal of carbon peaking by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060 as our NDC. China has taken vigorous actions which have led to positive progress. In this regard, China has become an active player to respond to climate change. Over the last decade, China has supported economic growth of over 6% per year, with only an average annual growth of 3% in energy consumption. Thus, in the installed capacity of renewables in China is up to over 1.3 billion kilowatts and China has brought down the global cost of renewables, contributing significantly to the global response to climate change and emission reduction. China has launched a national carbon market covering 4.5 billion tons of emissions per year. We also produced over half of the global e-mobility vehicles. We have afforested an area of one point. 2 billion more, equivalent to 6.8 million hectares, contributing to a quarter of the world's new forested area. China and Africa has been very effective in climate co cooperation in the past one decade. We have assisted Africa's low carbon and climate change adaptation demonstration zones, supported its clean energy infrastructure and smart agriculture, and helped enhance disaster prevention and mitigation in Africa, and also facilitated the implementation of the Great Green Wall Program in Africa. In late 2021, China and Africa jointly issued the Declaration on China-Africa Cooperation on Combating Climate Change. As of August 2023, China has signed MOUs with 15 African countries on climate cooperation. I want to take this opportunity to announce that in order to implement this declaration, China plans to launch the program Africa Solar Belt and the South-South Cooperation on Climate Change to assist relevant African countries in developing and utilizing solar energy, address power shortage and transition to green and low-carbon development. Development is the way to enable people to live a better life, a top priority for developing countries. 
Recently, President Xi Jinping has launched new initiatives such as the Support for Africa's Industrialization Initiative and China's Plan for the Modernization of African Agriculture. We are ready to work with African countries to deepen cooperation in climate actions and sustainable development, and to join hands in promoting green, low-carbon modernization. Meanwhile, we also call on developed countries to proactively shoulder their historical responsibility and fulfill their commitment to provide developing countries with at least 100 billion USD dollars every year in climate finance. As President of CBD COP15, I would like to also call for your attention to the intrinsic linkage between biodiversity and climate change. I have heard a lot of um, remarks just now which have mentioned the rich biodiversity and uh, forest resources in China. In Africa, containing huge carbon sink, China would like to work with the international community to fully implement the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework and to create harmony between man and nature. Finally, I wish this meeting every success. Thank you.